eager to claim bragging rights. Let's execute and do our thing. Raiders, Niners, when it's on, it's on. Thursday night football, Thursday at 8 on NFL Network, Fox, and streaming on Prime Video. NFL Network presents the Lexus Halftime Report. Here's your host, Colleen Wolf. Welcome in, everybody. Dallas Goddard getting it done yes, for the Eagles. They lead the Jags 10 6 right now at the half. A little sloppy to start the game. Yes, for, very. For really, for both teams, but especially for the Eagles. Michael Robinson, Colleen Wolf with you. And when you look at the way that the Eagles started this game, it was a sack fumble. I mean, you have the interception in there. The two turnovers on their first two possessions, Mike Rob. So they were moving the ball downfield. They finally were able to get in the end zone there at the very end with Goddard. But that, of course, came off of the turnover. Off of a big turn. So yeah. what do you think so far just based on what you've seen? Well, uh, it seems like to me that um, Carson Wentz understands his team needs his all of his abilities. He pre was pressing a little bit um, earlier, earlier in, in the game, but he got it back on track. Both of these teams are led by their defenses right most of the success on, on offenses come from the defenses balling out when you look at the Jacksonville Jaguars their offense has to open up a little bit more and it seems like the play calling of Nathaniel Hackett is limited because all Blake Bortles does is throw crossing routes or fade routes or scrambles mm -hmm. that seems to be the three modes of getting the football down the football field if Jacksonville wants to win this game and, and play championship football they need more out of Blake Bortles so more out of Blake Bortles what other adjustments can they make in the second half uh, run the ball uh, get, get Carlos High going a little bit more. Um, but again, continue to take the ball away from the Philadelphia Eagles. I think th th this Jacksonville Jaguars defense, this especially the front seven, mm -hmm. they're balling and they're getting after the quarterback. Yeah, they sure are. We've seen three turnovers in this game so far, but of course the Eagles are leading right now 10 to 6. We have a lot more coming up on this That's Sunday. Good. We're going to talk about a few more games. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Week 8 continues today on CBS and Fox. Then with Sunday Night Football on NBC. Stream games on mobile with the NFL and Yahoo Sports apps. This broadcast is copyrighted by NFL Productions for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the consent of NFL Productions is prohibited. Well, the second half is about to kick off, but this is just the start of a huge day here on NFL Network. There you see the London Eye, where the Eagles lead the Jags 10 to 6. But we have a whole lot more going on today. After the Eagles and Jags wrap things up in London, keep it locked on NFL Network all Sunday long. Every one of you is here for a reason. First, Game Day Live is the place to catch everything from this afternoon's games as it happens. That's a play right there. Everything that you want from a running back, he has. Then, Game Day Highlights brings you the day's most extensive highlights and recaps anywhere. The best 60 minutes of your NFL Sunday. Fantastic! We've got the pictures to prove it. He's in for the touchdown! And before the clock runs out on Sunday, Carissa Thompson, Deion Sanders, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Shannon Sharp weigh in on game day prime. I told you, don't take this team lightly. Because if they ball, they'll get the call. What's up, big fella? No, this is real deal. Holy Sailed over here, man. <laughs> Touchdown, Todd Gurley! And don't forget to wake up with the crew on Good Morning Football, weekdays at 7. At this age, with this milestone, he's playing the best football of his life. NFL Network, all game day, all week long. Where else would you rather be? Take a look at this week eight we have in store for you. The Browns at the Steelers. We got the Ravens and the Panthers. I can't wait for Packers and Rams trying to see if those Rams will mm. stay perfect. And then Saints at Vikings. You know that one's going to be good. All right, so we have my Mitch Trubisky here dressed Coach up. Coach Mitchka. As, I love that. Coach That's Mitchka awesome. is so good doing his best. Mike Ditka like there. Too. That's awesome. <laughs> Only missing the cigar. That's it. That's right. <laughs> the that voice right there is Mike Garofolo with Michael Robinson. All right, what game are you looking forward to most today? I'm looking Jeez. forward to Steelers-Browns. Not so much maybe because this could be a good game but what could be the fallout in Cleveland if it doesn't continue we heard from Ian Rappaport earlier talking about how there's some dysfunction on the
the offensive side of the ball. I agree with that. I have heard that as well. We saw it on hard knocks between Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley. These guys yeah. might not be on the same page. Well, now this stuff is manifesting itself. Granted, they've already won two games more than they won last year. And a half. If That's, you a got lot. Tie. That's a lot. But, oh, geez. That's an the improvement. bar is high in Cleveland because they feel like they have the talent to compete, and it's not happening right now. Well, both of those guys are play callers, so I could see kind of a little ego thing uh, getting the mix. But yeah. for me, I'm looking forward to the Denver Broncos going into Kansas City uh, a little bit later on today. To me, that's going to be a huge game. Case Keenum, these are the games that they paid you and brought you into Denver to win. You cannot go out there, turn the football over eight touchdowns to nine interceptions this year. Not very good. Come on, Case Keenum. They need you to step up. I cannot wait for Vikings and Saints coming up. Drew Brees, you know he's going in there. 220 passes without an interception. I want to see him. how I... Hey, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not jinxing anybody. I just want to see how this Vikings secondary plays against Drew Brees today because they have a few guys missing. It's also notable that Everson Griffin will be back today. That's so uh, he's finally back with the team after being away for a month. So it'll be interesting to see how that defense they don't, responds. They don't check running backs out of the backfield very well. Alvin Kamara, fantasy alert. I'm just saying. Is Absolutely. he on your team? Huh? No, he's not on my team, but I'm just giving, you know, giving everybody. A I don't even know space. if he has a team, but <laughs> you, you, know, you talked about that Viking secondary. They have yeah. a lot of different moving parts. We talked about that uh, on Saturday on Good Morning Football Weekend. I, I feel like they've got a lot of different pieces. That's what you've got to do against Drew Brees. Try and make it a little bit more complex. They've relied on their depth. So far, it's been pretty good the last couple of weeks. We'll see if it continues. We shall see coming up today, but first, we got the second half here of of Eagles and Jags. We'll be back after the game with some post-game content for you. Don't go anywhere, everybody. Dallas Goddard there. Spike Pretty that good ball, Dallas. first half for him. Eagles Throw lead 10 to 6. He hot. Thank you for watching the Lexus Halftime Report.